Hi, Alan Sokal. I'm reviewing this uh, compact treadmill. Uh, I wanted to do an unboxing, but this is the unboxing. I um, wanted to uh, take the top off, show you what's inside. When you do open it up, this will be taped, and this is the user's manual, the power cord, the remote control, etc. It was just taped right in here, uh, and there are some accessories over there, and of course here is the treadmill. Most important uh, information I can share with you at this point is that uh, I do have a weak lower back, but I was able to move this box around the garage, lean it against a wall, bring it over here, cut it open, and by doing it properly uh, without lifting uh, straight up, uh, I was able to lean this and, and show it to you. But this is what you're going to see. No surprises when you open it up. There it is. Okay, I took everything out of the box, all the accessories. Starting from the left-hand side, these are manual incline adjustments. Uh, you get two of these. Obviously, they go in a receiving area, and, and then you turn them to get different elevations. And they give you some silicone lubricant. This thing was independent, but the minute I saw it, reminded me of uh, an extension tube for one of my uh, machine oils. So that's for lubricating, and there are instructions. I looked in here briefly. In the user's manual, it talked about not only lubricating the treadmill, but also using this tool to adjust each side of the treadmill belt, the main treadmill. Uh, so if you've ever owned a treadmill before, you know that uh, alignment keeps, it, keeps the uh, treadmill from drifting, the belt, the running belt from drifting. So they'll give you instructions for this. Uh, the unit comes pre-lubricated. I read that in the manual. Uh, and of course, this is your power cord. This, and it's very nice, it's the uh, remote control. But uh, the remote control, it comes with two batteries. I don't know if they're giving an extra, possibly so, two uh, button batteries. And then of course, the warranty card. Um, I don't know how to activate that yet. And then there were four foam pads. I'm going to presume these go under the treadmill to keep it from moving. Next step, I'm just going to take the treadmill out of the box. I'm going to put it together and I'll show it to you. Okay, well, it didn't take but a couple of minutes, literally maybe three, four, five minutes at the most to set this up. Uh, I put the incline blocks in. I set them at one of three settings. There's an L1, L2, and L3. Uh, it's not a medical reference. It is a reference to the incline level of first, second, and third being the greatest. Right now it's on one. When I uh, plugged it in and turned on the power switch on the back side, the display came alive. It went through a calibration. There's a CAL here, uh, or it's either that or it's calories. I, maybe it's calories. I have not read the user's manual yet, but having owned treadmills, the most basic ones and the ones I've always used, basically it's speed control on and off. Uh, well, let's just try it out. The red button is power. I'm going to hit the red button. That's a a countdown of three, two, and one. It's on 0.5. That's the slowest. So I start, and I've noticed that it's easier to speed it up so I can increase my stride. And you can notice I can even hold this out to the side uh, behind me, the remote control. I'm up to 1.0. And once I get a feel for this, I'm sure I'll be much more comfortable, but I believe it's good for uh, developing balance, especially uh, uh, for people that are trying to retrain themselves. Uh, I would still have a safety bar available, but to be able to walk on the treadmill, I can see where it could develop uh, or help uh, develop better balance skills, possibly. Uh, let me try and speed it up just a bit more. I'm into the 1.6. This is more of a normal walking pace. 
And I think that's going to be about it. I just wanted to show you basics. I'm going to show it down. I already figured out my escape route, which is to push to the left like that, and I'm off the treadmill. Uh, I think it's a very good item. I think it's well worth the five stars I've given it. And uh, it's really nice. So portable. By the way, uh, I believe they said net weight. That would possibly be without accessories and the box and stuff. It was uh, 42 pounds, which is very manageable. The wheels on the front, and uh, let me turn this off. Take this off my wrist. I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to unplug. The wheels are up front here. They're very small wheels. And it is super easy to roll around. Now on the carpet, it's a bit harder. But um, walking this is so easy. 40 pounds. Uh, I just think it's, uh, it's, it's a really good item. I'm surprised I hadn't looked for something like this uh, years back.